Wonderful good morning ladies and gentlemen, Mindset Money 2015 and here is the third day and final day now has started and we start again with Fission Uranium here. With me here is Dev Rand Hava who just arrived, the CEO of the company and we want to talk yeah, about the year and of course about uh, yeah, the not happened merger of Denison and some <laughs> sure. other things. Dev, good morning, great yeah, to have well, you here. <laughs> well, it's actually been a great year fundamentally and uh, unfortunately overall markets haven't behaved like we wanted but it's been a pretty good year. Besides having a 43-101 that shocked the world, um, you know, everybody expected 50, 60 million pounds. We put over 100 million out uh, with a very conservative group. So that's number one. Number two, our PA came out, uh, which was fantastic. It showed an operating cost possibly of $14 a pound. Mm -hmm. um, just to give it a, put it in perspective, cheapest production in the world right now is Kazakhstan at 16. Mm -hmm. So this has a potential of being even wow. uh, less costly. And this one did not include the 600 West zone. And as over the winter drilling has shown, we've got some great results. Summer drilling has been fantastic. So fundamentally, it couldn't have done, we couldn't have done much more. But unfortunately, we've had some very poor markets. Uh, you've seen Cameco trade at you know, almost uh, all-time low since uh, uranium was $7 a pound. So you haven't seen these kind of prices. Uh, and unfortunately, it's all the commodities, you know, and et cetera. But uh, overall, fundamentally, it's been a fantastic year. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you, yes. you guys really delivered. Absolutely. Well, you, well, we're over delivered. <laughs> well, we're, we're, we're an exploration company. Our goal yeah. is to explore, and we've done that. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, you know, people get distracted uh, with things. You know, we still think the uh, Denison deal made sense. If the uranium market is not going anywhere, like some people say, two, three years, we thought it was a great way to merge with the quality projects, mm -hmm. in our view. Uh, great people. Mr. Lundin has done a great job creating value. Uh, and also getting access to cash flow that wasn't mm -hmm. uh, have to raise money all the time. So we felt that was a bit, um, we only got in the mid 50s uh, vote we needed at 67. Mm -hmm. You know, we could have actually uh, moved the deal a little bit and gone 51, 49. And so that we could have only 50% vote, but we insisted on, on putting it to the shareholders. So as a, a very, I won't say the fellow's name, very well-respected CEO says, Dev, from a corporate governance point, it's exactly what you do. You put, you put the vote in shareholders' hands. Mm -hmm. they, they felt, and I think the key was the PEA. Right before the vote, um, in the middle of September, we did a PEA, and that, and a few friends of mine, close friends of mine, a lot of shares said, that for them was a, a turning point. They felt, why do I want to give up a prop, so perhaps yeah. the world's greatest project in your, in, um, and then why do we want to let this happen? So yeah. I think that was much of an issue mm -hmm. as anything. Um, I think the other issue people talk about this dissident group. Um, you know, it's funny, once I got to know the main fellow, he's actually quite a, not a bad guy, Jim Gifford. I, unfortunately, I think, um, you know, these things happen. Um, and, uh, but I think it's a day and age we live in where it's about protesting. You know, we want change because we're upset about something. Mm -hmm. Well, unfortunately, um, we uh, did all the right things. Um, uh, unfortunately, this group didn't have many shares mm -hmm. or any much money. And unfortunately, it's, uh, we find a distraction. We've never, we've never worried about it because um, we know our shoulders behind us. Um, the votes are showing it. We've already got... Yeah you know, about a quarter of the votes in and the average guy is getting 90% plus. So we're not worried about their withholding any of that stuff. Those are, those are small distractions. The big issue for us is how do we increase value and continue to increase value. Yeah. This management team, besides winning several awards and we're up for a major award here, we know we're doing the right things. Mm -hmm. But we don't control the overall uranium market and the sentiment. Nobody so, can do that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so all we're trying to do is swim the best we can given yeah. the current yeah. above us. Absolutely. No, and I mean, you are putting the money in the ground. That's Absolutely. important. You are planning a $7 billion program already That's now. Right. And, uh, Minimum. Yeah. You know, if, if, the, if, the, if the environment gets better, we can raise more money, we will. But we're not convinced yet what's going to move the needle is going to be more drilling in the 780 or mm -hmm. where. But there are new areas. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I can see it on here, but we found another about 500 meters up here, another conductor. Yeah. And this conductor here, uh, the uranium wraps around it, so we think there's a possibility of another one. Um, we found some good uh, results, good smoke as we call mm -hmm. it, so we might be able to find it. This is one conductor, uh, and this is one of 105 conductors on mm -hmm. this project. So it's very clearly an exploration project, it's not yeah. a development project yet. So we're going to be testing that, yeah. and obviously out here it's a very key that we 
uh, continue to grow this because in the mining plan they only considered this. Yeah. Now if we can find more uranium here, which we're doing, we can start our mining program here, take that dirt, builds the burn. Mm -hmm. The lake's only three to six meters deep. Yeah. And so that dirt goes there. When that comes in, it comes back here. Mm -hmm. It completes it. Otherwise, you, otherwise, when you're building this, you have to bring dirt in. Now, you don't have to because this hole here after the first area oh. will help mining. So, okay, these pounds, so these pounds aren't just pounds. They're v smart pounds. Yeah. They really will impact. So if this was $14 US a pound, yeah. you know, what the PEA showed, how much lower will it be with this, right? Yeah. So that's why this is significant because it will lower Mm -hmm. uh, our costs of production, or everything we're Depend doing. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so, if, it comes to, yeah, if it comes to financing to everything, I mean, if the margin yes, yeah. is higher, you have uh, less problems. Yeah, absolutely. That's for sure. Yeah. So, upcoming drill program now, what's right. the big goal for next year? The new resource update? Yeah, next year we'll definitely do that. You know, we're also, again, we continue to, like I've said many times, the past decisions by the majors in our industry, we're still paying for those. Mm -hmm. It was a bad decision for Rio to buy a uh, Hathor because they, it's become an exploration project. It was based on that happened. It was a bad idea for uh, Arriva to buy Euromin. That's cost four billion dollars. Mm -hmm. um, so everybody's made some bad decisions, and now we're all paying for that uh, because now they're going. Let's just wait. So. So we have to look for partners somewhere else. We've been going to Asia because we feel th that's the real story in uranium. You know, uh, the Chinese are building a, one reactor every second month, yep. right? And so they get it, they have got pollution problems and they also clean cheap uh, energy. That's the real story is what is China doing? And, and, and now we've signed deals between Canada and China so we can do more business with them. You know, even the New York Times, which is fairly, you know, as you know, uh, more of a left-wing uh, paper than perhaps the Wall Street Journal, they're saying, you know, the new atomic age is what we need. If you're really serious about climate change, you've got to have nuclear power. Yep. There's no carbon footprint. And we can also have what they call baseload power. Baseload power is if you can't store the power from the uh, sun and the, and the air, uh, sorry, the wind, well, you can't. You can't use it because now we, when we go home at night, we all need energy at, in the evening at one time. Mm -hmm. We all put our ovens on. We all watch TV. Yeah. We need a lot of energy in that short yeah. time frame. Yeah. So nuclear power does that. It's the solution, and it's really what we need. Uh, and Chinese uh, people, uh, the Chinese people in the government recognize the need for clean energy, and that's what they're doing. Mm -hmm. You know, uranium is the one, I believe, um, we've had our tough times. That was last year. You know, we've held pretty good at 35.40. I do believe we need the uranium price to go above 40. We start the big money to come in. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's the same money circulating the same stocks. Yeah. We need fresh money. Yeah. And I do believe when uranium hits 40, which I believe is when Japan puts on five reactors, yep. that's kind of a number I've heard from smart people. Mm -hmm. When they got five reactors going, that means they're using up it uranium. Yeah. And Still, remember, utilities are only buying about a quarter of what they normally need, so they're really not thinking too far ahead. They just say, hey, we've got enough. We're not worried about buying more. Okay, super. Last question, because yes. you are a genius in financing. How much money is in the bank? You spent now seven, <laughs> maybe, to ten million? We, we've got about 12 million in the bank, mm -hmm. which puts us through uh, our drilling season and into the, into the spring, summer. Um, but you always raise money when you can, not when you have to. Yep. We are in the middle of talks with a few groups. We've been mm -hmm. very fortunate to be blessed with good shareholders like JP Morgan and those, and they've offered us more money. I won't, we won't take money from new groups because that wouldn't be fair to the old. But it's very hard with the stock prices being all-time lows, and yet you've got you know, more success yeah. than ever. So uh, we have to be very careful with our money. And just on a, on a small note, like we all flew economy here. Yep. You know, for 800 pounds each, we got here. So rather than flying business, so the company recognizes that these are difficult times and we need to adjust. Yeah, perfect. Dev, thank you very much. All the best. Merry Christmas. Thank and you. And always a pleasure to talk to you. Nice to see you All again. the best. Thank, thank, you. thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, there was Dev Randhawa, the CEO of uh, Fission Uranium. Well, you heard it. It is tough times, but the drills are turning and uh, they find more uranium. Resource update is uh, in the loop for next year. And uh, yeah, the company really delivered, uh, has sold uh, yeah, nearly all the issues also with this dissident group and uh, now they can again focus really on what they do best, drill the holes, find more uranium, make the company bigger and more valuable. That was it for London. Thanks and bye-bye. Merry Christmas.